John Bowden, Rock History Music, Rock History Book, and today in history for August 26th, yesterday was one of the biggest ones we've ever had, like a crazy day, uh, gargantuan deaths, you know, uh, album releases, big albums, and today is another incredibly uh, busy one for you. The title, of course, she had seven top 40 hits in the 80s and died with little fanfare, though people are coming around now with this lady, but we'll get to her in a second, as far as paying tribute to her and paying attention. If it's your birthday today, by the way, happy birthday. And if you know someone whose birthday it is, uh, make sure you share this video on their timeline. I think they'd appreciate that. People are always going, hey, happy birthday. Share the video. They, they, they'll, they'll, they'll probably go, hey, this is kind of, kind of cool. Okay, Fred Milano, he's the one on the right, American doo-wop singer. Dion in the Belmonts, born in the Bronx. In New York City, he died in uh, 2012. We are rolling right along today. In 1940, rocker Nick Kershaw, Nick Turner rather, of Hawkwind, is born in Oxford in England. As far as I know, we looked him up, but he's still alive. That was just part of his shtick, by the way, when he, the, the way he's looking there. He's not uh, turning into a zombie. He just had that shtick. That was just part of the whole thing. 1942, Vic Dana, uh, whose real name is Samuel Mandola, uh, American singer and dancer, uh, Red Roses for a Blue Lady. Remember that song? Born in Buffalo, New York. In 1942, Keith Allison, American session touring guitarist for Paul Revere and the Raiders. He uh, passed away in 2021, but he was born on this day. Uh, oh, more pictures. I love pictures. Let me put this up a little bit. 1942, Maureen Mo Tucker, drummer for the Velvet Underground, is born in Levittown, New York. Pictures, pictures, pictures. In 1946, Valerie Simpson, half of Ashford and Simpson, is born in the Bronx. 1946, there you go. Pop singer uh, Bob Cowsill of the Cowsills is born on this date in uh, 1949. Portsmouth, Virginia. Lots of pictures today, I warned you. 1949, we lost him in 2019. Leon Redbone, whose real name is Dickron. Gobolian, American blues and jazz musician, uh, of course did the theme to Mr. Velveteer, is born in Cyprus on this day in 1949. Like I said, we lost him in uh, 2019. Lots of pictures today. Uh, in 1950, Arnold McCluller, American session musician, most notably, people know Arnold mostly from singing with James Taylor. He's been a part of that James Taylor back, uh, uh, backup band for quite a few years now. We've lost a few members of that band, but he's played Ry Cooter, Phil Collins, Lyle Lovett, um, Bonnie Raitt, but like I said, mostly it's James Taylor. In uh, 1952, rock guitarist Billy Rush of Southside Johnny and the Asbury Jukes is born. Lots of stuff today. Lots of stuff. Let me just get to... Uh, 1954, Michael Chetwood, British keyboardist for Tapal, was born in England. In uh, 1966, Dick Vickray, lead guitarist for Counting Crows, is born Walnut Creek, California. Man, I, I took I took a while to get the pictures, I tell you. In 1966, she's so cute. Shirley Manson, like she was young there. Scottish rock singer for Garbage, of course, born in Edinburgh in Scotland. When I say we got a lot of pictures, I'm, I'm not joking here. And in 1969, No Doubt drummer Adrian Young is born in Long Beach, California. I've never liked No Doubt because I can't stand Gwen Stefani's voice. To me, it's like nails on a chalkboard. I just cannot cannot handle her. Her speaking voice is okay, though. Um, in 1971, Talia Sodi, a Mexican actress and singer. She's known as the Queen of Latin Pop, was born in Mexico City. Me I'm like, what the heck? She's beautiful. I've never heard her sing. I have to admit, I've never, never heard her sing. But since she's the queen of Latin pop, I thought we should include her today for sure. Let me, uh, my microphone's too far away. That is crazy. Sorry about that, guys. I knew I was forgetting something. I got on here and I went, everything's a go. We're good today. But anyway, people who died on this day, 1981 folk singer, uh, Lee Hayes, bass vocalist for the Weep Weaver, uh, yeah, the Weavers, Dies from a diabetic uh, cardiovascular disease at 67 in New York City. Passed away. Thought I'd include him because he was a big figure in music. In um, 
1995, Ronnie White of the Miracles. He is the second from the left, by the way. Dies after a, a battle with leukemia at the age of 56 in Detroit, Michigan. And Alan Woody, bass guitarist for the Allman Brothers Band and Gover government mule, dies in Queens, New York from... Um, Oh, they didn't know. They didn't in, indeterminate cause of death. He was only 44 years old. And for our, and there she is. Man, I was so madly in love with this woman in the 80s. When she was breaking through, Gloria was a big hit. Laura Branigan. She dies of cerebral aneurysm in East, uh, well, I'm not sure how you say that, uh, in New York at the age of 52. Not a lot of press at the time, though. People are coming around now to really paying attention to her career and realizing, I mean, seven top 40 hits. That's a lot, man. In the 80s, in a short span of time. And there she is. She had a powerful voice. By the way, she had a five octave voice. Her first single was in 1982, Grammy-nominated Gloria. It was an English version of a song that was a hit for Umberto Tozzi, composed by Tozzi and Gian Giancarlo Bagazzi. Bagazzi. I did it in an Italian girl once. They were trying to teach me how to, how to at least have the inflections right, and I don't think they did a very good job with me because I, I, I probably failed them big time. Um, okay. FYI, her mother was a homemaker and her father was an accountant and she had many siblings. And uh, I remember when I first got into radio, her second album had come out and I kept staring at the album cover. I kept, you know, I don't know why I just kept going, what is it about this woman? It's just a girl. But for whatever reason, I guess at the time, uh, she was my type. Here she is again. Look at that face. She had the face of a model. She had seven top 40 hits, including Solitaire, How Am I Supposed to Live Without You, co-written by a little known at the time, Michael Bolton, Self Control, The Lucky One, Spanish Eddie, The Power of Love. She had 11 contemporary, adult contemporary hits. Isn't that amazing? Jeez. And there's our, our tribute to a lady who was so talented. I loved her voice, and her version of Power of Love was always my favorite. In 2009, what do we got? No, in 1967, rather, Bobby Gentry's Ode to Billy Joel hits number one in America, first of four weeks. In 1968, in America, the Beatles released Paul McCartney's penned, uh, Paul McCartney penned Hey Jude with John Lennon's Revolution on the B-side. Told you, lots of, lots of pictures. In 1972, Looking Glass, Brandy, You're a Fine Girl, hits number one, where they stay for one week. Love that song. Still love that song. Stood the test of time. In 72, Nielsen's novelty song, Coconut. Remember? Put the lime in the coconut. Peaks at number eight, and it'll stay there for one week. Uh, this is very topical, considering uh, Olivia Newton-John. Oops. There he is. Grease. Frankie Valli. Grease, the title track to the blockbuster film, hits number one in America. There you go. Kiss from a Rose from the Batman film, Batman Forever. It hits number one in 95. And uh, I think that's all we got today. Laura Branigan, we miss you. There's a, If you look up Laura Branigan and Tammy Faye, there was an event where they were both together. Uh, Tammy Faye Baker and Laura Branigan. And I'm going, well... I didn't have time to look up if there was a connection between both of them, but I think they were both at the same event, which kind of crazy. Got to get some comments. Hey, Melody, we can always depend on you. Thanks, Melody. Hey, Christian Erickson, Laura Brandigan. I know, I know. She was one of the queens. She was coming up when MTV was coming up, right? When you look at those hits, it's insane. Hold on, let me get to it again. Oh, yeah, Gloria, of course, was her biggest hit, her, her, her first Solitaire, How Am I Supposed to Live Without You, which was later a hit for the guy who co-wrote that song, Michael Bolton. Self-Control, The Lucky One, Spanish Eddie, The Power of Love, and 11 adult contemporary hits. At the time, there wasn't... I remember, since I was laser-focused on her, 
I remember being on the news saying, why aren't, why isn't anybody reporting on Laura Branning and passed away? And there wasn't a lot, but to have that many hits in a short span of time like that says something about her and her multi-octave voice. People don't talk about that enough, but there you go. Uh, sad to lose her, but she's remembered. And I put some of my p favorite pictures on the poster, you know, just always been a big fan. So thanks, thanks everyone. Friday, I got a hair in my mouth. It's a Friday. I hope you have a really nice weekend. We usually do today in history on the weekend. We forgot last Sunday. Uh, basically, we were just railroading interviews for our, our channel. And just if someone didn't see, hold on, because we're really proud of this. Our sister channel just received our 100,000 subscriber award. There you go. Rock history music. So we're very, very proud of that. It took a lot of work to get there. Blaze Eisner, remember her song Gloria on the skating scene in Flashdance. Yeah, Brother John, Brother Blaze. Yeah. Ah, I feel very melancholy sometimes. When I did the, I like Photoshop a lot just so that everyone knows. That's why I've spent so much, I spent as much time doing the banner for Today in History as I do, I mean, I don't do the research. Shannon does the research and we get a lot. I just want to, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that. We get a lot of information from calendar.songfacts.com or onthisday.com. A lot of our research comes from that. So we'd be remiss if we didn't give them a plug. Great sites if you want to, in today, in, uh, history information. And there's a few Canadian sites that we get information from because we're in the process of doing a Today in Canadian Music History for our Canadian channel, Rock History Canada. So... Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little melancholy for Gloria uh, today, for not Gloria, for Laura Brannigan and the song Gloria. So take good care of yourself. Remember, if you want to help the channel, there are links in the description. Please share this if to someone whose birthday might, might be today, right? Or else if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Take good care, guys. We'll be back with Friday Night Live on our, on our sister channel, Rock History Music, tonight at 9. Take care.